All right, I'm doing this video to show um, the skeptics or people that are unsure what type of gun that they would like to purchase, either for hunting or for um, self-defense. Um, I just purchased this gun. This gun right here is a witness, um, a P carry model. Um, it holds 10 rounds plus one in the chamber. Uh, this is my um, my 22, my Marlin 60 Model 22, with a um, I won't say a, a expensive scope, but a, a okay price scope. So I mean, it has pretty good distance. It's not the best, but um, it holds uh, 14 in the chamber. It's a tubular uh, load. You load it from the front up here. Um, but the thing is, if you leave this open, you can load 14. But if you uh, leave it open, close the hammer. Um, you can load up to 16, 16 or 17. Um, and then this is a 1987 one shot uh, 410. Of course, 410s can shoot uh, 410 shells or it can shoot um, the um, the slugs. And the uh, slugs for 410 are the same as like a, a 45 uh, round. And then this is the Mossberg um, New England firearm. But it's a Mossberg, bought it from Walmart for $187. This might be the cheapest gun on here, even though it's a 12-gauge. Um, it's a pretty nice gun. Um, if, I mean, it has a soft pad back here. So when you go to shoot it, um, it takes some of the recoil uh, out of it. The 410 doesn't, it's the, um, the weakest of all shotguns, but it still has a lot of power to it. Um, the 22 is the second weakest, I believe, of all uh, long rifles, but don't don't get it wrong. Any gun that shoots real bullets is a powerful gun. Um, I think the se the 17 caliber uh, is the next smallest, but I think a 17 does more damage than the 22 due to the fact that most uh, bullets are pointed. Uh, they have a pointed tip. Um, the 410, I mean not the 410, but this um, it's a French gun. It has a beaver tail on it. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Um, a beaver tail. And uh, that takes some the recoil out. It's a compact gun. Um, it's not the full size. You had the full you had the full size compact, and I think like a subcompact that's a little bit smaller. The smaller the gun, the more recoil it has. The lighter the gun, the more recoil it has also. So if you don't want a gun with a lot of recoil, but you want one with a lot of power, um, you know that you you got to look into the, your research. Um, I like the. Um, I like this gun. I was going to get a Sigma, but I picked this gun due to the fact that it had a safety on it. Uh, Sigmas don't come with a, a safety. A Sigma, and this is a 40 caliber. I don't know if I said that at first, but the Sigma um, 40 VE didn't have a safety. Pretty nice gun. It's a cheap gun. People will knock it because of, um, due to the fact that it jammed when they first made it. Then it's so-called a Glock knockoff, but I mean, I look at it like you can get a Glock. I mean, you can get that Sigma that's just like a Glock and, you know, but save a whole lot more money. You save about $300, $400, sometimes even uh, more than that. One thing I didn't like about this gun was it only came with one clip, uh, one, one, one magazine. Um, it's a French gun. It's called uh, Tang Fog Tan Folio, a uh, Foglio uh, company. Um, and again, this is called, this is made by Smith & Weston. It's a, um, a 40 cal. This is my Marlin. I believe this is also a New England firearm. Um, I just bought this a couple months ago. So I guess uh, it's like a 2000. It was made in like 2010, 2011. Um, so it's a newer gun. Um, this might be uh, two or three years old. Again, this is a 12 gauge. It's a, a pump. Um, it holds two in the, one in the chamber, two in the barrel. Um, you load it from the bottom right here. And then this right here you load from from back here in the muzzle. Um, the different bullets you have. This is my practice round. This was the um, this was like 365 bullets, but you, now you see I only have less than 100 left. Um, these are 22s. I'm gonna show you the difference between um, 22s. If I can get them out. Um, that's the uh, the federal. This is a federal bullet. So if I can show you, that's a federal uh, 22. Uh, I'm gonna pull out a Stinger, a Stinger CCI. 
that's a uh, mini mag actually and it's, and it's slightly smaller than the um, than the federal it's a hollow point hollow points mean uh, it's a hole at the top of it uh, let's see if I can get in so you have a hole where the federal doesn't have a hole um, people don't like using the the rounded tips due to the fact that um, let me back up due to the fact that when you shoot something uh, if it, it can hit it and go through people like using the hollow points due to the fact when you hit it it turns into a mushroom the bullet does or the round and it doesn't go through um, and that again that's a CCI um, mini mag and then I'm gonna show you the CCI um, stinger um, again this is the 22 um, I like shooting the bullets I like shooting with the best are the CCI's and the Remington's um, I just like shooting with them to have a little bit more power, a little bit more distance, a little bit more accuracy. Um, and then those are my 22 uh, bullets. Let me see if I can focus. Sorry about the, the video. Um, and now you have my, I'm going to go to my 410. I have different ones. I have the Winchester. I like Remington a little bit better than Winchester, but that's my preference. I mean, Winchester is a pretty good uh, company uh, for ammo and things of that sort. This right here. It's a three inch um, shotgun shell for the, my 410, which is this gun. Uh, let's see if I can zoom out, which is the one right here. Um, and again, this is a single shot. This is more like a hunting gun. Um, you can use it for self defense. Any gun is better than no gun, but people prefer the four, people prefer the 12 um, and the uh, 40 caliber for home defense. Um, I mean, if you need to use a 22 for home defense, it's best to use it. Uh, always keep these protected. Uh, keep these stored, especially if you have young kids. A lot of kids nowadays are getting shot with guns, uh, either playing around or adults, uh, not knowing kids are around and not knowing that the guns are loaded. Um, I'm, I wish I had someone to hold the camera while I took this video because um, I would show you how to, you know, check a gun, things like that. You always want to check a gun before you uh, do anything before you hand it to someone before you uh, clean it whatever it may be no matter if you know it's empty still treat a gun like it's uh, like it's loaded because I mean once you you shoot somebody um, I mean they're shot there's no mulligans there's no redos there's no restarts they're shot um, and then you want to come over to uh, I'm coming over to the next it's a little smaller it's a Winchester I mean it's a um, yeah Winchester um, this is a slug. Um, the slug is uh, equivalent to a 45, so it's a slight more kickback to it when you shoot the slug than when you shoot the shell. And it's a big difference. Like these, this this is like a I believe a six shot, if I'm not mistaken. So those are good for rabbits, squirrels. You want to do hunting like that, but they're also good for self defense because they do spread. If you have trouble uh, with accuracy. Um, maybe the, the, the 12 gauge, I mean, yeah, maybe the 12 gauge, which is this gun right here, which has a lot of kick. So if, before you shoot it for the first time and you know, and it's when you're defending yourself, you might want to get a couple practice shots. Um, so you can get used to it. You don't have to shoot a lot cause I know ammo is expensive. Um, you know, and it's and shooting is kind of addictive. I don't know what it is, but it's almost like, you know, when people say when you get, get one tattoo, you got to end up getting, uh, you know, you're going to end up getting more because um, I got this gun first and I got this one and I got this one and I got that one. So, I mean, they're adding up kind of like tattoos, but um, you can use it. So if you have trouble with accuracy, this does spread. It spreads quite a good distance. Um, it doesn't shoot that far. Um, it's a, coming from the 410. The 410, you know, it's good. It has a lot of accuracy uh, power from 25 yards to 30 yards, 30 yards max. Um, this, this slug is a little different story. Um, you have to have pretty good aim. You have to hit it right on, but I mean, you can nip somebody with this, um, and it's going to hurt, uh, point blank. Um, so even if they don't get hit full fledged, um, it's still going to hurt. Um, then I want to take you over to, um, I have more, uh, shotgun shells. These are 12. I have my Remington. Which I said I like uh, the best. Uh, that's a, uh, a I think two and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 
and that's a Winchester. Um, the reason I have so many Winchesters is because um, my dad likes to shoot with Winchester. Um, like I said, it's up to your it's up to your preference. There's no real humongous difference. I mean, you grab whatever you can when it's time to defend yourself, or I mean, when, when you're going hunting. I mean, you know, you grab what you have. Uh, you don't want to run to the store when you have a whole box of rem uh, Remington to get Winchester or vice versa. They almost the same. Um, these come. These shoot the 12. Uh, shoot out of the 12 gauge. This is shells. I think it's a sh uh, six shot also. So I mean, you can use these the, you know, for rabbits, squirrels, birds. Um, you can even use a, a 12. You have a, a slug for a 12 to shoot a killer deer. A 410. Um, you know, you can use that for self defense. And people say I, w I wouldn't use it, but it's equivalent to a 45. And you can kill a deer with a, a slug out, out of a, a 10, a 410. So you can kill a deer. You can most definitely wound or kill a, a intruder in the house. Um, same thing, you know. Uh, same thing for this 12. It has a lot of power to it, it's, and it spreads. The, um, and there's more pellets in it, uh, BBs, um, than what's in that, what's in this right here. And then you want to go over to what I just bought, which is the um, the 410. Not the 14, the 40 cal. Um, this is 180 grain, so the bullet has a little weight to it, the or the round, whatever you want to call it. Um, again, I mean, you want to be careful. Careful. The reason I got that, um, the it's a French gun. The for, the 40 caliber was because it had the safety. You don't want to. I mean, you hit somebody with that, it's going to do some damage. Um, so you want? I wanted to get a gun that had the safety. Even though the Sigma and a couple other guns, you know, they had like um, other safety things on it. Like, you know, some of them you had to hold the hold the hammer, not hold the hammer, but hold the. Um, well, let me see. You had to hold it right here. Let me zoom out. In the back, um, I guess you can say handle. Uh, you had to hold it right here um, and squeeze it, or it wouldn't shoot. Uh, so that was kind of like a safety also. I mean, if you want that, you can get it. And then uh, some of them had where it was a harder trigger pull. So, I mean, it's up to it's up to your preference. That's why I say, you know, look around. If you have friends with a gun, uh, ask them to shoot their gun. Uh, whether you want to, you know, however you want to do it. But I know with this, um, let me zoom out. With this, you see that red dot? That means it's ready to fire. There's no ammo in it. I dropped the clip. Um... There's nothing in the clip. There's nothing in the chamber. Like I could check the chamber, but I had to put the put this down. You wouldn't be able to see. Um, but this is like your thumb safety. You just slide that up, and when you don't see red, that means it's locked. It won't shoot. And then you slide it down. Uh, that means it's ready to fire. Um, for home defense, if you're gonna use a gun for home defense, no matter which one you use of these right here, and I'm sure, I mean, there's other guns that are better than these, but these are the ones I have. Um, if you're going to use a gun for home defense, make sure it's always loaded. It's, no criminal is going to wait for you to load your gun. I mean, if you had something that was easy like this, you just throw the clip in. You can have the clip on uh, one side. I mean, you can have the gun here and the clip on the other side. And you heard somebody breaking in, you could throw it in and cock it back. But, I mean, these, this 22 takes a little time to, to load. You have to lo load it from the front right here. Um, it's a little slot. You have to load it here. And it's going to take a while. Um, and you want to make sure that your magazine is already loaded because um, this is not really expecting this is brand almost brand new um, It's not really that easy to load when it's brand new. So um, My advice is to keep the maximum maximum amount of rounds in there. So the spring get loose to get um, looser um, It makes it easier to load So I mean if you you know, you want to keep this already already loaded But you want to keep them in the safe place a lot of people say keep them up on the lock and key but if this is like if this 12 gauge is the only gun that you have for self-defense don't keep it up under lock and key just keep it in a hidden place keep, keep it up under lock and key you may uh, forget where you know panic and forget where you kept your keys uh, you may drop your keys or whatever it may be um, so I mean just teach your kids from a young age about gun safety if you want to teach them to shoot that's cool I learned young but um, you know let them know that what they see on TV what they see on these video games 
it's not true. The game, life does not start all over. Um, but um, let me show you the boxes that they came out of. That's the 410. Just in case you want to go to the store, I got this from Walmart. Um, and then this is also my dad got this from um, Walmart. Well, actually, yeah, I did get those from Walmart. Uh, my dad got those from Walmart. That's the 12 gauge. Um, I can't remember where I got these from. I might have gotten from a hardware store, but those are the Stingers, um, CCI Stingers. Probably got those from Walmart. The distance on these are 1,640, so they go a pretty good distance. Um, the this is a, a mini mag. It doesn't go as far, but you get more. This is a this was a, a hundred in here. That was 50, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this was a Remington right here, but um, like I said, I got the um, I guess you call it the fun pack, and so that's like a lower grade bullets. You know, they, don't, they sell 500 or 365 bullets for the same prices as, as these right here. So I mean. They're cheaper bullets. Sometimes they shoot. Sometimes they get jammed. Sometimes they hit the target. Um, you know, so they're good for practice rounds. That's why they call called target rounds. Because you really would not want to use these for hunting or self-defense. Shooting squirrels, shooting rabbits, or shooting someone. Because you shoot one, may get jammed. Then you want, don't want to have to deal with trying to unjam it. That's why it's called a fun pack, a target uh, pack. Uh, people wonder why it's called a target pack. You know, you can use all ammo for target rounds. But you don't want to spend... $13 on ammo, that's a hundred of them, when you can spend $13 on 365 of them, you know, it just makes sense. Uh, this is considered a target round two. Um, this was around $17. I bought this from a gun store, uh, Smith & Wesson 40 cal. Uh, on the back of it, I don't know if it shows you the back, but it has a little red dot on it. I don't know what it's for. Uh, someone else can, you know, chime in on the video and tell me. Um, this was 50 in here. Um, their target rounds they they don't recommend using this for home defense due to the fact that it's not hollow point, and so if it hits something, it can still go through. Um, even though it's not rounded, it won't go through as far, but it can still go through a hollow point once it hits something. Like I said before, it stops. Um, sometimes you have the jacket soft uh, tip. This is not real a soft tip. Uh, it's like a jacketed uh, or this is not even a jacket hollow point. It's a jacket. It's like a um, a more rounded tip but it's kind of flat so I mean it will mushroom out but it won't mushroom out as much as a hollow point um, but this was made by Smith and Western Wesson um, I guess it's the Lillier and Bellet uh, companies 180 grain I don't know if you can see it 180 grain bullet so it's a pretty nice size bullet um, but like I said these guns are good for target shooting um self-defense hunting great guns it's a 12 gauge has a lot of power um then you had the 40s in between the 40 i wouldn't use i wouldn't get a 40 for your first gun that's something i wouldn't do uh for your first handgun uh you know you want to start off on like a, a 22 if you can um then you want you know you, that's for a rifle um before you go to like a a uh, ak-47 ar-15 or whatever it may be and then before you go to a um a 10 gauge 12 gauge 16 gauge shotgun you want to use this 410 then you can jump you once you get used to that you can jump to this 12 gauge before you go to this 40 caliber uh, as many other different uh guns you can get in between you know a, a 40 caliber and a 22 you can buy a 22 handgun you can buy a 20 a 25 you can buy a 32 it has less kickback um because that's one that's one thing i always wear your earplugs and glasses when you're shooting uh, I know self-defense, you want baby to do that, but in other cases, when you're practicing, when you're sh uh, hunting, wear your earplugs and glasses. Um, you never know what can happen. I've been uh, thought I was staying in a safe place. Somebody shot uh, one of the, one of these guns, um, and, and the wind blew and it caught the, um, the it caught the shell and it and it went down my shirt and it burnt me. So I mean, you know, it could have hit me in my face uh, if I wasn't wearing glasses or whatever it may be. They do come out hot. They may cool kind of quickly, but when they first come out, they are hot. Hot, trust me. I've been burnt, so make sure you stay in a safe place. Um, but I was in a safe place. Just the wind picked up real bad, and uh, it carried the the shell. But um, always practice, even if you only practice once a once a week or uh, three times a month. Always practice so you can get used to it, so you can get used to aiming. Um, 
so if you can leave a comment again this is my um witness 40 caliber this is my marlin 60 model uh 22 long rifle uh and this shoots supposed to be high powered not uh hyper powered um bullets i mean i guess those are extreme powerful long distance bullets but these shoot high powered bullets um they don't shoot they shoot longs and not shorts the bullets i showed you earlier were longs um they don't, they don't shoot mags they shoot mini mags though but not mag bullets uh this is my 410 slightly longer than my 22 um and this is the the big boy 12 gauge so please leave a comment let me know how you feel thank you